Hey, so what's going on guys? So I have another video to share with all of you and a lot of my viewers have left me comments and I've received emails on doing an updated video for this, but how to import or transfer photos and videos from the iPhone over to a Windows 10 computer. Just to clarify with you guys, this is a Windows 10 Pro 64-bit operating system that I'm running and I have the iPhone 7 Plus here. And I have a couple videos on there, a couple photos. I'm going to show you guys how to import or transfer them over to the Windows computer for safekeeping. Then you can delete them off of your phone and you can then free up all the space on your phone again unless some of you sync to iCloud or whatever. But anyway, we're going to do this without using iTunes. There's two methods that you can try to do this. That I hope this helps some of you out. But anyway, get your lightning connector connected to your iPhone and then go ahead and plug it into the USB port on your computer and of course iTunes is going to pop up automatically but we're going to minimize that because we're going to go right around iTunes and what you guys should notice on the screen here is under devices and drives you'll see where it says Jamie's iPhone um, if I close out of that the icon you want to click on is it's called this PC so you want to be in here where you can see your devices and drives so you can see your phone pop up if your phone does not show up in this list I would go ahead and make sure you log on to your home screen and then unplug the USB cable and plug it back in and it should pop up here for you. So one way you can do this is you can go right into the internal storage into this folder and there are the files right there and if I go ahead and go into my pictures folder on my computer here let me just minimize some of these boxes I can show you guys real quick how to get the videos. See, that's a video. That's a video.mov, .mov, and JPEG, and .png. Just highlight all those, right-click, and click Copy. Come over to your Pictures folder and click Paste. And they'll pop up and go right over to your Windows 10 computer or whatever. This should actually work for other versions of Windows and other versions of iPhones. Um, and once that's done, you would now have a copy on your computer. So what I'm going to do is just uh, highlight all these and delete them to start over here because I have one more method to show you guys. So again, that's one way you can do it. And you can see it still left a copy on the iPhone. You can go into your iPhone and delete these or you can just highlight them, right click and click delete from there. And that should free up the space again on your iPhone. Uh, the, the other way we can do this is if I back all the way out, close out of that window, and we go back to the devices and drive screen. If you simply uh, right click on this icon, you can come down here and choose import pictures and videos and it's going to find those four pictures and videos, okay? This is the second method I want to show you guys. So you can do different things here. If I click next, you can enter names, you, you know, you can add tags and do some adjusting here. And of course, there's actually more options here of where you can import everything to. Mine is set to go to my pictures. There's some other options here. Once you click import, um, delete files from device after importing. If you don't want them on your iPhone anymore and you want to free up that space, then check mark that box and click apply or click OK. And it'll actually delete them automatically from your iPhone before you copy them over automatically like this to your computer. So I'm going to go ahead right now and click import. And what it's doing, and there's the option again to erase after importing, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave a copy on my iPhone. This is just for the tutorial, but there you go. That imported it into my pictures folder. And let's just clarify that by actually going in over here to the pictures folder. And there it created a folder and it automatically put them in. So that is two ways that you can get photos and videos off of your iPhone over to your Windows computer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helps some of you out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, it helped you, please click that like button, share the video. Um, thanks a lot, guys, for watching my videos. And I will see you guys next time.